Hi guys, this is for all of you who are whining that you're not in a relationship and that you haven't found the love of your life. So a couple of things. A, I want you to ask yourself, am I really looking for a relationship? Am I ready for it? Is this a good time? Do my beliefs support me being in a relationship? I just had a great conversation with a client and it turns out that she said she was looking for a relationship, but she really wasn't because in her mind, the relationship would not allow her to live her values. So there's an easy way to fix that. Just take a moment to figure out what your values are and probably it will take more than a moment. But once you have that, you can look for the person and have them support and align with your values. So if you like to be independent or you like your freedom, or you like to explore, you like to make choices, make sure that the person also values those things. Once you have figured this out, it will be much easier for you to go out and be excited about finding that person. Two, if you've never sat down to figure out what you really want in a relationship, I encourage you to do so. Here's a great exercise I got from somebody a long time ago. Look at um, your requirements, your needs, and your wants. Requirements are the things that are not negotiable in the relationship. Sometimes it's monogamy, sometimes it's drugs, sometimes it's, you know, honesty. Needs are the emotional needs that we have, that we want to have met in our relationship. You can separate them between functional needs and emotional needs. And, and wants are the things that are nice. So for example, you know, uh, five foot tall, blue eyes, brown hair. Those are, those are usually wants. And we make the mistake of focusing on those wants. So requirements, needs, and wants. Let me give you an example. So if for me, spirituality is very important, my requirement will be that the person is spiritual. Now, a need could be that we do something together, that we share uh, some moments or some things where we can have spiritual experience together. Maybe I do my tradition or he or she does their tradition. and. A want could be that we practice the same thing. I like to meditate so that we meditate together or that we read the same spiritual materials together. So that would be an example of how you would differentiate between requirements, needs, and wants. This is a great time to sit down and figure out what this person is going to look like or feel like or what his values or her values are going to be. Take a moment to do so. And if you haven't done this, and I talked about this in the beginning, make sure that you figure out what your values are because it will be important in your selection. All right, I'm wishing you a happy holiday season and please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And you have, if you have any other questions, let me know. I'm here for you. Take care. Bye-bye.